of attendance today. <laughs> On behalf of the global Gear Mods family, I offer both of you my sincerest thanks for demonstrating exactly why the Ocean Open is growing in popularity each year. Throughout this year's tournament, both of you have shown such a great determination, sportsmanship, and the passion for the game. And it is for these reasons we are such a proud supporter of what is Gia Mother's longest running major sports sponsorship. And I would like to thank everyone at the Tennis Australia for their terrific organization of this event. <laughs> But what truly makes the Australian Open so special is what I consider to be the very best fans in the world. All of us at the Gear Mothers, thank you for your support year in and year out. Once again, congratulations to both of our finalists for making this year's Open such a memorable experience. Thank you. Both players will get half their pay prize money to cut this speech short, I promise you. Well, a man who I'm sure has been absolutely delighted with the past fortnight is going to join us now. That is the President of Tennis Australia, Steve Healy. Your Excellencies, Governor Mrs Chernoff, His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, what an epic match to mark the 100th anniversary of the Men's Singles Championship at the Australian Open. The longest match ever in Australian Open history and the longest Grand Slam final ever. This Australian Open has been like an unfolding drama. Compulsive, fanatical viewing, some new and some familiar characters, an ending that simply couldn't be determined until the very end, leaving us all wishing for more. It has been absolutely incredible. I'd like to thank our Tennis Australia team. Thank you. I'd like to thank our Tennis Australia team. I'd like to thank our Tennis Australia team, our Chief Executive Steve Wood,